Hi, betting experts. On Thursday, the 27th of October, off to Worcester on Thursday. Decent ground expected and the weather forecast. There are some showers around, but I doubt it'll deteriorate too much. We start off with our betting expert daily nap in the 155. This is the At The Races app, form study, handicap chase, two mile four, class four, five-year-olds and upwards. Over £7,000 to the winner and a really good opportunity here for Dan Skelton's jet plane to get off the mark over fences at the first time of asking. Now, he was basically a progressive uh, novice last season. You can ignore his final run on really bad ground at Weatherby. One run too many there, but he impressed me when we're getting off the mark over hurdles at Ludlow on the 10th of January, beating Sam Tara under Canny Ride from Bridget Andrews. And then next time at Leicester in a very warm novice hurdle under the penalty, he finished a really good third behind Angler's Crag. That's solid form. He was then better than the bear result under Tristan Durrell at Sandown in a red hot grade three handicap. And as I say, pulled up on his final start. He's very much a chaser on looks. 114 is an extremely exploitable mark. He's got a pointing background, ran really well in one Irish point in particular. And I would imagine he'll be fully fit to make a winning chasing debut after seven months off. Our betting expert value angle selection runs in the 230. This is the Sky Sports Racing Sky 415 Novice Handicap Hurdle. Bear two miles, class five, four-year-olds and upwards, over four and a half thousand pounds to the winner. And I think could be a weapon, can continue the good spell of Ben Pauling. He's had a couple of winners in the last fortnight. They've all been running well in defeat, those that haven't been winning, and could be a weapon very much brought along with handicaps in mind. Last season, um, big prices, showed a little bit when third at market raisin in March, but basically brought along to get his opening mark. He got an opening mark of 95, and he duly stepped forward for a little bit of cash under Luca Morgan, just denied by the prolific lucky lover boy at Utoxter on the 2nd of October. I think that's reasonably good form, and he's liable to improve from it. He did race a little bit freely and made a couple of mistakes, but that should be ironed out on the decent ground where I'm Worcester. A bit more of a galloping track and a longer straight should suit him. Plenty more improvement to come after just four runs over timber. And this looks a really good opportunity to get off the mark. Best of luck on Thursday, betting experts. <laughs>